Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your website. If you are new here, consider subscribing, let's get into the video. In this quick video, I will show you how to achieve this glowing text effect. It's one of the most common techniques found across the internet to format text. It's a neat little CSS property called text shadow, you may have already seen it. I've already taught see through text and this is one more effect. By text, I don't just mean the heading widget in Elementor. It can be applied to any text widget, so it can even be applied to text in an icon box widget. We'll talk more about that in the upcoming videos, but for now, I'll just show you how to achieve this glowing text effect using Elementor heading widget and pure CSS. Let's get into the video. So there are basically two CSS concepts involved in this. The first one is text shadow under heading widget. You already have that, but the problem with Elementor text shadow is that you can add only one text shadow, but this effect requires you to add multiple text shadows. So if you have set any text shadow using Elementor heading widget style options, just reset that. We'll do all this in CSS. It's just few lines of code I'll teach you. So always refer to Mozilla developer network whenever you want to know about properties. So, so the first concept is text shadow. It's similar to box shadow. So you have spread across X direction, Y direction and uh, spread which is basically more of a thickness of the text shadow or more, more of a spread of the shadow and finally the color. So that's how you specify text shadow. It's simple and it works on most browsers. You can check the compatibility. It works on most browsers. So you don't have to worry much about it. It has a little bit of bugs and all that, but you don't have to worry, worry about text shadow property. It'll just work. And the second thing that we need to know is CSS animations. I've already made a video on CSS Elementor animations and how you can animate literally most if not all the elements or all the properties in Elementor. So you can animate height, text, shadow, text, color. You can basically any CSS property can be animated using CSS. It's quite easy and quite intuitive since all the heavy work is done by a browser. You just load the code and your browser will do all the processing and it will execute that animation. So there's no flash installed on your website, no slowing down your servers and more. I'll leave a link to the video of CSS animations in the description. Make sure you check that out. Explain that in detail. But here's the shorthand of animation. So it goes something like this. Animation name, duration, animation iteration count in which you specify how many times you want the animation to occur and kind of function. This is called animation timing function. So based on the values that you provide here, different kinds of animation occur. So ease in out and ease out and all that stuff. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that in the description. You can also refer to Mozilla Developer Network. It has more of a detailed information that you can refer to. and again here you need to add few prefixes to make this property work across all browsers and all versions so for moz you may have to add moz animation for webkit you may have to add webkit prefix something like this so you can add you can duplicate this and add webkit hyphen webkit hyphen animation and for moz and similarly you can do the same with keyframes and there must be another keyframes Anyway, I explain all this in the CSS animations tutorial. You can check that out for more info on this. So the idea is simple. You make the text color white so that the glowing effect is more obvious. So it produces that neat little neon effect and you specify animation. So we'll call it anything that you want. So I'm just calling it glow text and you specify the duration. You can also specify a delay for the animation. I don't want delay, I just want it to be natural so that it's actually glowing like that and at animation timing function. Again, you can refer to Mozilla Developer Network. They have all the properties covered for you. So, or you can refer to W3 schools, even they have excellent information on this. And finally, keyframes are similar to what you use on video editing software such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro, if you're familiar with those. So these are basically like points, checkpoints, and at each point you specify property of the element. Here we're just concerned about the text shadow. You can animate other properties as well. 
for instance let me change the color to red here and at 100% let me change the color to maybe blue i guess you can see that over here so it starts with red and it goes to blue blue red blue red so any property any css property not all properties but most css properties can be animated using css animations and they're really cool so in this video we'll just limit ourselves to the text shadow so here you can specify when the animation starts uh, so it's zero percent indicates when the animation just starts hundred percent indicates when the animation is about to be completed you can also add as many uh, keyframes as you want so if you add 50 percent that means when the animation reaches half of its lifetime or the duration so you can specify another properties and simply use google so just type green hex code or if you want a neon color of uh, blue maybe type blue hex code i just used green hex code you can use any color so that will be the color of our glow so i'm typing green hex code so it will give you a few values pick lighter values such as green and lime so that the glow is more prominent and copy that and in one of the keyframes use lighter color in another keyframe use a darker color or vice versa however you like so i'm using green and lime color so you can also type blue hex code and use the lighter colors of that so maybe you can use aqua and teal for the glow you can also do that you can replace this with that so two layers so as we all know text shadow has three properties one is width along x y and the last one is spread we don't want any width along x and y we just need that spread to produce that glowing effect so width and height will leave it to zero and the spread will give incremental values so start with 10 you can also start with 5 can also start with two whatever you want and start increasing and give the first two layers maybe white color so this is the hex code for white and the rest of layers any hex code that you decide so if you go with blue maybe you can go aqua or teal it's all up to you i'm just going with these two colors and increment as many values as you want so it basically increases that width or the spread that's it so you can add as many values as you want and at 100% again use the same values but just increment the spread so that you know that the glow is actually spreading throughout the text as you can see here initially there is less glow and you can see this glow spreading out through the text so you can use that it's all up to you just type this in google and pick up hex codes use the first two values white for the first two text shadows and the later shadows the color that you pick from here so once you do that you've added two properties at two key points or key frames and that's it you specify the name duration type of animation and iteration count so how many times you want this animation to be performed so if you want this animation to be performed just twice you can enter two and it already performed that twice so it's gone i can cut and paste it again you can see that so once twice and done but as you want this glowing animation to happen indefinitely just specify the iteration count to infinite so that it just keeps looping through the animation so that's all you need to know and as usual we are targeting our heading widget so we need our selector space dot elementor hyphen heading hyphen title class name and that's it that's pretty much it and while using animations you also need to know about the keyframes property so keyframes again keyframes have few prefixes so general prefix keyframes will work but for webkit based browsers or few other browsers just see here opera some versions of opera need o prefix so here you'll have one more duplicate code of it but just replace webkit with o sorry that's zero so o here and there's one more brace missing here which is why it's throwing me an error so oh yeah there's one more brace missing here so for opera 
you will add o keyframes and for mos or mozilla if they have a prefix you will duplicate the code again mostly it will work with webkit keyframes so you don't have to worry much about it but few versions 5 and below work with mos prefix so just in case your users or maybe on version 5 of mozilla you don't want them to miss out on this animation so add mos prefix so add or duplicate this code and as as many prefixes as you want and the same goes with animation so you duplicate this and add all the possible prefixes so the generic name goes last so here you'll have something like this so mos animation if they have a prefix so add all the prefixes and your elementor css screen will show you what to add you can simply follow that so if you hover over this symbol it will show you all the prefixes so it will show you how to add it you just copy uh, paste the duplicate the code and add as all the prefixes possible so that your code will work consistently across all the browsers and all versions anyway the general code will mostly work if your users are on the latest versions of all modern browsers so anyway we'll just settle with this it's your duty to duplicate the code and add all the pro possible prefixes to keyframes and also to animation i'm not doing it it's all up to you you have to do it you better do it so that your code is consistent i'll remove this one more brace is not needed i'll remove that and that's it so that's how you add glowing effect so it's basically adding multiple text shadows of different spreads that's it and you're animating that indefinitely so it produces that glowing effect and remember what i said at the beginning of the video it's not just limited to heading text widget in fact the CSS properties are mostly common across all the elements. So for text, so anything with text can have a text shadow. Anything, any element such as section, column, widget or anything can have a box shadow. So CSS works that way. It doesn't treat elements separately like your element does. So for CSS, everything is just an element, right? And so here's our code for the adding that neat little glow effect. So I'll actually copy the code and here I have a text editor widget. You can see here I clicked on it and it's showing me that it's a text editor widget. I'll open my atom bridge text editor. I'll paste this and the class name for rich text editor is elementor hyphen text editor, right? You can inspect and find it out. We have done it on multiple occasions on the channel. Yeah, so that's it. So I'll just copy the code and a custom CSS. Let me make the background of the column a bit dark so that you can see it. I'll add a back background. Now you can see that. And just like that, the code that we wrote for our Elementor heading works with Elementor text editor widget. And the same goes with any icon box widget so i think this is an icon box so it's an icon list so if you find out the text in this so let's add a background to this as well i'll just give it a black background just to show you that glowing effect i'll inspect and find out the class to target the text so it's elementor icon list text i'll copy that I'll reopen my atom text editor. So I just need to replace this with that. Control C, I'll copy this. I'll go to custom CSS of this particular icon list. Paste it and just like that it works with icon list text as well as i said css properties are universal they are not just limited to one widget or one element as long as it's text you can animate it using the same thing so mostly you'll be using it for heading text so it's quite common to use it for heading text i'll leave the text for the heading widget in the description make sure to check that out i'll talk to you in the next video make sure you subscribe to the channel there's a lot more coming soon i'll talk to you real soon peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and 
let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace